Self practice 9.10 questions 1. In an examination hall, the tables of Daniel, Darwin, and Cindy are at positions A, B, and C respectively. These three points form a triangle as shown in the diagram on the right. The distance between Daniel's table and Cindy's tables is 10 meters. Daniel's table and Darwin's table is 4.027 meters, whereas Darwin's table and Cindy's table is 6.575 meters. Prove that the sum of the interior angle of the triangle form is 180 degree. In the diagram of the triangle ABC, the length of three sides are given. Therefore, we can use the cosine rule to find the angle A, B, and C. For the angle A, it is opposite to the length of BC. Therefore, using cosine rule, 6.575 square, this is equal to 10 square plus 4.027 square minus 2 times 10 times 4.027 cos angle A. Cos angle A will be 10 square plus 4.027 square minus 6.575 square and divide by 2 times 10 times 4.027. The angle A will be the inverse cos of this answer here. So angle A is equal to 25.01. As for angle B, it is opposite the length of AC. So using cosine rule, it will be 10 square equal to 4.027 square plus 6.575 square minus 2 times 4027 times 6.575 cos angle B. So cos angle B will equal to 4.027 square plus 6.575 square minus 10 square and divide by 2 times 4.027 times 6.575. So angle B will be the inverse cos of this answer, which is equal to 139.98. As for angle C, it is opposite to the length of AB. So using cosine rule, it will be 4.027. 0 to 7 square this is equal to 10 square plus 6.575 square minus 2 times 10 times 6.575 cos angle c cos angle c will be 10 square plus 6.575 square minus 4.027 square Divide by 2 times 10 times 6.575. The answer for the angle C will be the inverse cos of this part, which is equal to 15.01. So sum of the interior angles will be 25.01 plus 139.98 plus 15.01. 01 and this is equal to 180 degree questions number two the diagram on the right shows a children's toy in the shape of a cone and its upper portion is cut off the surface in the shape of circles center o and center p are horizontal and the op axis is vertical there is a straight line that joins a to c given oa equal to 5 cm, pb equal to 10 cm, op equal to 16 cm, and the angle pbc is equal to 90 degree. Calculate a the length of ac. So here you need to use a little bit of your imagination as the shape given is a 3D dimensions. The length pc here will be the radius of the bottom circle. Therefore, PC is also equal to 10 cm. If we connect the straight line AO, OC to the AC, this is going to create a right angle triangle with the angle at the O here will be equal to 90 degree. 
So we can find the length of AC using the Pythagoras theorem if we know the length of OC. So here, the triangle OPC is also a right angle triangle. And we know the length of OP and PC, therefore we can find the length of OC, which is the hypotenuse. So OC is equal to square root of 10 square plus 16 square, which is equal to 18 point at 6 at. So now we can find the length of AC. So AC is equal to the square root of 5 square plus 18 point at 6 at, which is equal to 19.519. Questions B finds the area of the plans A, B, C. So the plan A, B, C is in the shape of triangles. So we can find the area either using the formula 1 over 2 A, B, sin C or the Heron's formula. So if we look at the triangle P, B, C, it's actually a right angle triangle with the length P, B is equal to 10 and P, C is equal to 10. BC, which is the hypotenuse, so can find the length of BC using the Pythagoras theorem. So BC will equal to the square root of 10 square plus 10 square, which is equal to 14.142. So if we are able to find what is the length of AB, then we're going to get the length of three sides for the plans ABC. Then we can solve the area using the Heron's formula. To find the lines AB, first I'm going to draw a vertical straight line from point A to the base. The part that I highlight here will be a right angle triangle. As for the other part, this will be a rectangle. Therefore, this part here will be also equal to 5 cm. Then, this part here will be also equal to 5 cm. As its total is equal to 10 cm. So here, the height of the shape is 16 cm. Therefore, the height here will also be equal to 16 cm. So now, using Pythagoras theorems, we can find the length of AB as the B here is the hypotenuse. So AB is equal to square root of 5 square plus 16 square, which is equal to 16.763. So now we can find the area of the plants ABC using the Heron's formula as we have the length of the three sides. So first, we're going to find the semi-perimeter. So it will be S equal to 16.763 plus 19.519 plus 14.142 and divide by 2, which is equal to 25.212. So area of the plants ABC will be square root of 25.212 times 25.212 minus 16.763 times 25.212 minus 19.519 times 25.212 minus 14.142. The answer is 115.865. Questions number 3. The positions of two towns A and B are shown in the charters and plans in the diagram on the right. Find the angle between the position vector of town A and town B relative to the origin O. Hence, find the area of the region in the shape of the triangle AOB. So the angle here will be the angle between the position vector of town A and B relative to the origin. So first we're going to find the angle here. Let's say we label this angle as the small letter A. 
So when we draw a horizontal and a vertical line here, it's going to create a right angle triangle. And based on the coordinates of A, we know that the length here will be 4 units, whereas the length here will be 3 units. So using the trigonometric ratio, this 4 unit here will be the opposite side, whereas this 3 unit will be the adjacent side. So to find the angle A, we can use the tangent. So tangent A is equal to 4 over 3. Therefore, angle A is the inverse tangent of the 4 over 3, which is equal to 53.13. As for the angle on the right hand side, let's say we name this as angle B. So based on the coordinate B, the length here will be equal to 1. And the vertical length is also equal to 1. Therefore, this triangle is also a right angle triangle. And the angle B will be equal to this angle, as this is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, to find angle B, it will just be 90 degree divided by 2, which is equal to 45. Therefore, the angle AOB will be 53.13 degree plus 45 degree, which is equal to 98.13. Next, we're going to find the area of the triangle AOB. So first, we're going to find the length of AO. So using a right angle triangle here, this part will have the length of 3 and this part will have the length of 4. So you think using Pythagoras theorems, the length of AO will be equal to 5. As for the length of OB, so here this is also a right angle triangle here with the vertical unit of 1 and the horizontal one is also equal to 1. So using Pythagoras theorems, the length of OB will be the square root of 1 square plus 1 square, which is equal to the square root of 2. So now in the triangle AOB, we have two sides and one included angle. Therefore, we can find the area using the formula 1 over 2 AB sine C. So the area of the triangle AOB will be 1 over 2 times 5 times square root of 2 times sine 98.5. 1, 3, which is equal to 